Absolutely. So, do we want to get to the elephant in the room? Hey, I have a name. That's not why you call is on <laughs> iTunes. I know everybody's been talking about it, okay? I like Chase's and... thing. I have a name. <laughs> 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 uh, yes, yes, I suppose we should talk about the elephant in the room. Yeah, so we've decided, uh, it was a group decision, we decided that uh, Wings of Redemption wasn't going to continue with us uh, on the show for at least the, the foreseeable future. Um, he's got a lot of stuff that he needs to work out before he's, you know, up to par with, with, with what we need from him. You know, he, he's, he's having a hard time, and uh, he's, he's made some decisions that we didn't feel were, were so friendly, so for the time being... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna continue without him. We have not replaced him with anyone. Uh, Chiz is our guest tonight, and we will be looking into someone who will fill in in more of a uh, long term role. That may be Chiz. That may be, uh, you know, it might be Pootie Pie. It's gonna be somebody. We'll find out soon. Yep, yep. Uh, I know that. I, I feel like the subreddit. We've been super active on the subreddit. I know all those guys that are probably watching right now. It, it, it's called PKA. If you're a redditor, you might know how to find a subreddit. And uh, and I think a lot of people would like a laundry list that kind of explains how we arrived at our decision. And I don't know what left he's smiling at. <laughs> yeah, and, and the laundry list really wouldn't be fair to Wings. We're not. Exactly. We don't want to trash Wings. We don't want to call Wings up, call Wings out. Um, you know, we don't. We don't like doing that. But um, suffice it to say, he's made some decisions. Not just recently. It's not something he did recently necessarily. It's it's just a. It's everything that he's done that, that has kind of added up together, that's, and that's why we made this decision. And, and so. if, if Kyle or I or anybody were to sit here and list out everything that, that we didn't think was the right way to go about things over the last couple of years, without him here to defend himself or give his side, then that would be inappropriate. So, uh, Correct. And then, oh, and then the other thing is, like, I, I saw a video go up. It was like Wings of Redemption versus Woody's Gamer Tag. I haven't said anything negative about Wings in, in the public space. I, um, I am not here to tear the guy down. I hope that he succeeds. I want him to yes. succeed in social media. I want him to succeed in his life, in his family, in his love life. And, like, I, I have... I am not here, like, rooting for this guy to, to fail. You guys have heard me talk many times about my list of people to kill. Wings of Redemption is not on that list. You know, Wings of Redemption is yes. on the other list. I can I, confirm. I've seen the list. <laughs> you know, I, I hope that Wings does well in his life, and I'm not sitting here rooting against him. Um, that's just not how this is. So if you see, like, you know, some sort of opportunist try to drum up drama and act like this is a, um, a Wings versus Woody thing, don't get it twisted. Um, it, it was really the nope, cast of the show. Not the case. Not the case at all. Uh, the cast of the show just decided that, um, you know, that we'd be better off this way. Yeah. So um, what do you want to tackle first? Do you want to go into the survival talk? Explain what happened uh, last week? Sure. Did I... Do you want me to start? I could go either way. I don't know. So I, I'm not. I, I'm sitting here wondering, like, how many of. The, I guess a lot of the people seeing this haven't seen my videos, um, where I sort of logged it. We mm -hmm. should probably go under the assumption that more people see this than the survival videos. True. Um, kick it off, Kyle. All right. So I, I'm going to skip a few things. By the way, you should go watch video. Uh, Woody's. Woody's vlogs. He's got like 13 of them up. They're pretty short and sweet, but they give you the gist of uh, just about everything that happened. I'm going to be uploading a few more on my channel, youtube.com slash FPS, and uh, that'll probably be about the time that this goes up. So what happened was we, we met up at our meat spot uh, by the Uari uh, National Wilderness Area. We got our bait, and well, actually we didn't get any bait. We got our tackle and any last-minute items we need, a fishing license, etc., and we headed into the fucking wilderness. And we parked the truck, started walking, and we walked, I don't know, we walked a good ways. A couple hours. Yeah, along the side of uh, the Uari River, which we had only ever, I had only ever seen before in satellite imaging. And it turns out that thing's a little bit bigger than it looks from <laughs> in space. In the satellite images, it looked like you could, like there were areas where you could step on top of the rocks and like skip your way across. And if you see rocks coming out of the river that you can walk across, probably the space between the rocks is only knee-deep or so, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was not, not the case. case. No. <laughs> when we got so, there, the rocks were not dry. They were covered no. by raging river. And uh, 
Thank you. Yeah, for tell us about my that hand. crossing. Yeah, buddy. tell us what was that. Right. What was it? What happened there? So, from my point of view, I, I, I basically said, "Is this a good spot to cross?" And we kind of agreed that it was. And we kind of, and uh, you know, I took my sneakers off and put my uh, my mandals on that everyone likes to make fun of so much. And I started heading across. Uh, I got across, and I don't know, it probably took me ten minutes to get across. And I realized I didn't have my phone. It had fallen out of my pocket on the other side of the river. So I made a walking stick, crossed back to the other side, and retrieved my phone plus about half of Woody's gear. That's so unfair. That's so unfair. Because I had, I had it like was a, unfair. A it was unfair or 50 for me to carry pound pack on my back. <laughs> and he's like, then I carried Woody's stuff. And by that, he means like the bedroll. I carried Woody's <laughs> bedroll and a plastic bag full of other items. Plus my phone and uh, and maybe something else. I carried that stuff across to the other side of the river once again, and then I uh, I started waiting on Woody to make his way, and he picked a walking stick that I would not have picked. Uh, <laughs> walking stick mine was, was fine. about five and a half feet long and pretty skinny, and his was about three feet long and really fat. You one and might it, call it the thick six. Yes, he pulled out a thick six and tried to navigate these these rapids with it, and the current was really strong, guys. Like like it's pushing against your legs, and every step you take is an unbalanced one. You feel like you're going to lose your footing, fall on the thing, and just get washed down river. So I crossed the river again and uh, took Woody by the hand and and, and led him back across. No, and uh, finally, I, two of us were both on the same correct side. Of the river. I didn't make Did a big deal out of the footwear on the subreddit, but I really think that because we crossed again. Let, let, at like I don't know I don't know what time it was I'm gonna call it two a.m. one a.m. okay um so but it was dark out uh the river was even stronger because like it had started to like drizzle or something and we did another river crossing but this time because we were headed home I wore my shoes like I didn't care if they got soaked and uh, and I walked across pretty much fine it it was the yeah. barefoot that actually made a big difference I didn't realize you were barefoot at the time. That that would have that would have made it rough. Yeah, the the rocks were it, it like in, incredibly slippery, and you you know yeah it, it was. If I were to do it again, what I brought in terms of I brought hiking boots and I brought flip flops, like little rubber flip flops, and um, they're nice for hiking because they're so lightweight and you can just throw them in your pack or hang them on, and and that's really where my experience was based in, but. For this kind of thing, where you really only hiked a couple hours, then you intend to stay there for a week, I could have brought mandals like Kyle had, because they were a better pick. Optimal. So yeah. then we walked uh, a bit further, and we found our campsite. We, we, went, we went pretty high up as far as elevation, um, away from the rivers, because we were expecting a couple of inches of rain the next day. And we started making our camp. You know, We chopped down, I'm going to call it 30, 30 trees. Uh, started building our shelter, got our fire uh, firewood established, and pretty much got our camp done. We also cut down a really big tree that yeah, fell right Yeah, I would say 30 camp. saplings in a tree. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we cut a big tree down with, uh, with, with, our, with our bare fucking hands, pretty much. Bare hands. There was yeah. no cutting of that tree. I, I feel... chewed that son of a bitch. I, my, my my testosterone level was rising just because I became such a macho badass as I cut down the trees. Carry on. So we, we had our camp pretty, pretty well established, and we decided to walk uh, back down to the river and cast our lines out there. And we did so, and I'm just going to skip to the end on the fishing part. We never caught a fish. Not one. Although I will say this. Occasionally, these big, beautiful, delicious-looking fish would jump clear out of the water yes. and mock me. <laughs> That's exactly it. I, I, I think I saw one fish do this. <laughs> just yeah, throw yeah. that out there. <laughs> They were they were flying out of the water, just giving us the fuck you and swimming back <laughs> away. It was it was terrible, and uh, and so we're getting pretty hungry at this point. And you know we would go back and forth between fishing and our shelter. We wanted to recast the lines, check them for food, etc., and then go back and start improving our shelter. And uh, we got our shelter pretty well established. It just needed to be thatched up so that it was you know weatherproof. But we had the structure there, and we were down there fishing. And I look uh, upriver. About 250 yards, pretty much the same as meters for you, you the rest of you guys. Okay, carry on. And there's what I don't know what they're called, but it's a stork. There's a stork up there, and I'm pretty sure these things are protected by some law. But I was really, really hungry, <laughs> and so I'm like, I'm gonna go kill that fucking bird, and we're gonna eat. So I, I grab I grab Woody's rifle, and I start running uh, back up river. But I go into the forest a little bit so he doesn't see me coming. These things have really good eyesight, believe it or not. I get all the way down there. It's about 
It's close to it's 250 yards. It's 500 feet. I run 500 feet uh, in a roundabout way, and he's gone. And it's I'm just like, fuck. Feet. 250 yards is 750 feet. You're right. I run <laughs> 750 feet, and this motherfucker is gone. And I'm like, shit. I was expecting food at this juncture, so <laughs> I, I jog. I jog back to Woody, and I'm like, you're not going to believe it. I got there. He was gone. I, I turn around, and I, I point back up river. I was like, he was right there, and there he is. He's back in the same <laughs> same goddamn spot, and I'm like, I'm going to go kill that motherfucker. BRB. And I, so, so I start jogging again. I do the jog again. Get down there. He's gone. I shit you not. I'm, so now I'm is just – Is this a mirage story? Mirage. No, no. It's a smart bird story. So I, I jog all the way back. So now I've jogged uh, 3,000 feet, over half a mile. Not I jog three, all the way back. Oh, wait. Maybe it is 3,000. Yeah, yeah, back. Yeah, okay, 3, carry on. Carry on. My mistake. And, uh, and I'm like, what are you not going to believe it? He was gone again. And I look downriver 250 yards, and there the motherfucker is. Yeah. And, it's, <laughs> and then he point comes at flying him. by. <laughs> just... Yeah, as we point at him, he takes off, <laughs> makes this big looping circle, and goes back to where we originally saw him. And I was like, all right, we're not capable of dealing with him. <laughs> now, <laughs> he's too smart for us. We can't handle him. If I'd had a more high-powered rifle, like a 5.56, five, I'd have totally sniped him out. It'd been done. But we didn't. So right. so then I'm like, you know, these fish aren't working. These, I don't see any cr- crayfish. Um, you know, there's nowhere really to build those fish traps we talked about well. It's turtle time. It's turtle time. Mm-hmm. We're going to eat those turtles that keep popping up for, for, for air in the river. Mocking us with the fish. Yeah, yeah. They would come up. They'd come up to the top of the water, stick their heads up, get a couple of breaths of air, and then go back down. And there was a really big tree that had fallen into the river. And I, go, I, get, I get up on that tree and, and you know, go out into the water uh, on the tree. So I'm looking at a downward angle to the water so my bullets won't skip and they'll be more effective. And I just wait. And finally, a turtle pops up. It's about the size of a dinner plate, I'm going to say. And I shoot the thing. And he, he's dead. He's dead. He's just, he's just floating there. And I'm like, Woody, I got it. I got it. We're going to eat. Run back down to Woody, give him his rifle. And I start swimming across this fucking river. And I, I'm not a good swimmer. I am no Woody's gamer tag. So I'm wondering at this point why Woody's gamer tag didn't show off his <laughs> Aquaman skills and swim that fucking river. I didn't river. even see the turtle. This isn't even a confirmed kill. Like, I didn't... I, just, like, <laughs> I saw the turtle. He was done. He saw so, the turtle with the mirage, you know. Bird. Yeah, right? It was next to the fake store. Carry on. Done. <laughs> Swim across the river, get over there. The son of a bitch has sank to the bottom. He's gone. He's gone. And I am exhausted in a way that it's not like being tired. I'm exhausted. I feel like the in, like my chest feels hollow. And my he's stomach low on feels food hollow. at this point too. I mean, it, he ate breakfast and it's probably 7 p.m. Yeah, yeah. So I start throwing up right about then. Uh, I threw up a couple times. Crossed the river. It took me much longer to cross the river this time, even though I was waiting. I went up river where it was more shallow. And from then on, I just really felt like shit. We got back to camp. I laid down on my mat just on the ground. Ticks got all over me. Chiggers got in my legs. Chiggers are like these worms that burrow into your skin. And uh, you want to take it from there? Um. So let's see. At that point... Uh, we went back up. We had a little more shelter to do. Uh, I think... Maybe I worked on the shelter a little bit. I definitely got the fire cooking. And I had this idea that if, you know, if we could get Kyle warmed up, dry, and rested, that he might, you know, recover to some extent. And there we laid for like the next six or seven hours. It's hard to track time. He kept throwing up. It, It was like, I don't know how frequent he was throwing up. I'll call it every 40 minutes or so. But it was a lot, right? You know, sometimes productive, sometimes just dry heaving. But the guy was sick, really sick. And, um, Oh, and it was the bad kind of vomiting. It wasn't like, <laughs> all right, I'm drunk. Let's get all of this out. It wasn't like that. It was like, there's nothing in me, but my body still thinks there, there's like poison inside of me. And I'm just dry like heaving. retching, retching. And my stomach is just tightening into this ball. And it just, it's really painful. And I'm trying to control my breathing to control the ga- the you know, the impulse to vomit. And I'm just like, uh, 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 uh. and I know Woody must be thinking, is he gonna die on me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was trying to get him better, right? So, so I did the fire, as I said I would, and we got that thing started and it had appropriate size. And um it as it headed into night, it it was just like, Well, I guess we'll sleep like this. Kyle didn't even sleep in the structure. He just laid out the um 
he had a, a bedroll on the ground. I laid out my bedroll in the structure. It sounds selfish, but trust me, I, it, it wasn't any comfy thing, I promise you. I got the best of it besides the bugs. He was yeah. he was in there rolling around on the sticks. Oh, it was not. It did not look comfortable. No, no, no don't, don't don't go thinking that I took the prime spot or something. I, 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 as uh -uh. a matter of fact, many times I was tempted to join him on the ground. <laughs> you should have. Yeah. So, uh, um, I completely lost track of time. I would doze off and then like wake up, and the fire needed to be reinvigorated, and I repeated that process. It was probably, would you call it midnight, 1 a.m. ish? It, it was exactly midnight okay. when, uh, when, you, when you woke up, and uh, so, so from, my, from my frame of view, I was just lying there with my head on a log as a pillow, staring at the sky, uh, up through the pine trees. It was, a it was a full moon, but it was cloudy and overcast, so the clouds kind of reflect the moonlight, and everything was lit up almost like dawn, and it started, it started raining. But that dawn thing is, is a key because to me, I thought it was dawn. Like the fire was especially low. Like it, was, it may, maybe even even gone out, just embers at that point. And I look up and it looks like dawn and it's starting to rain. So now we're headed into that day two, the 25 degree freezing rain. And in my head, we need to zoom out of here or we're staying till Thursday. Those are our choices. And Kyle has not stopped throwing up. So... <sighs> And the, the whole thing about the Thursday is I've been in here when it rains before at the, in that forest and the flash flooding is ridiculous. There are so many hills that the, the water all just rushes down quickly and and it either it floods. It floods hard. It, it, you've heard my stories over the roof of the truck before. And I know that we can't cross this river after or during a rain. So it's starting to rain. And I say, Kyle, do you want to go home? Thinking that it's Tuesday morning, but it's not. It's around midnight on monday yeah and i'm just like yeah 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 i i because i I'm, i was pretty much thinking the same thing i knew that it was midnight but i knew that if we didn't go then it, it, the next day was just going to be worse it was much worse and i didn't know if i was gonna get better or not so we packed our shit and uh, we walked out of there and the walk out of there was miserable for me I know. Like the the pack was like digging into my shoulder, and things weren't weren't packed nearly as well as they were, you know, when we packed them at home. So it was jostling around, crossed that stupid fucking river at one in the morning, and like Woody's walking in front of me. I'm holding his pack so neither one of us fall, and uh, got back to his truck. He dropped me at my car. Wait, 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 wait. I don't think we covered that properly. On the way <laughs> back, I led the way like the macho fucking man I am. And Kyle mm -hmm. did the equivalent of holding my hand. There's a... Nope. Th yes. Nope. Not, yep, not, yep, not, yep, not yep, at yep. all. Kyle's Hold probably on. feverish and been retching all night. And like like, a, no excuses for the champion. Yeah. There's like a handle <laughs> yeah. on the top of my backpack, right? And he mm -hmm. is holding on to this thing so that uh much like so that might you help, don't fall in so that a little old lady like 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 he like kind of Kyle uh like like you mm -hmm. might help her cross the street. I disagree. I was holding on to that backpack because you kept losing your balance, and I wanted to make sure you didn't go down. I oh, could have shit. jogged across that river. Bullshit. No, this time I had footwear, and I crossed that river like the Aquaman I am, mm -hmm. and Kyle held on for dear life so that he didn't get washed downstream. Not true. <laughs> Regardless, uh, <laughs> it's not true. Uh, we got back to my car, and uh, I got, got in some dry clothes that I had. But wait, there's a thing. Oh, is there? On the way back, so Kyle uh, is, I guess, struggling. Me, I'm fine. It's interesting to me because I haven't eaten in a long time, and the hunger had come and gone. Uh, I think even my strength kind of returned after my rest, and there's frogs everywhere. We, we must have seen like seven. Nine. Seven? Okay, I was going to say nine, but th there's your ballpark. And uh, it's like, dude, we totally could have caught these frogs. They were sitting there. We were walking within three feet of them. I think I could have hit them with a stick, killed them, and had a food source so it's like ah we didn't catch the fish but i think we had figured out how to feed ourselves in terms of frogs legs we had we definitely had it was nighttime and there were just so many frogs in the mud puddles created in the path and we, we totally could have grabbed at least six or seven frogs and, and and eaten them but i was vomiting i think i threw up three like tw two at least twice on the way out and then once more when we got to my car so it was like yeah, you know, if Woody would be like, "Hey, Kyle, would you like some frog legs that I just dug out of this cesspool <laughs> over here?" <laughs> I'd have threw up on him. Um, yeah, Kyle. 
Kyle, like we, so my truck was near the thing because it was like a dirt road. Like you wouldn't want to take a nice sports car near the, the campsite. And um, so we took my truck together and then I drove him back to his car. He vomits in the parking lot and then like gives me this cootie handshake. <laughs> it's a goodbye. I don't understand the cootie handshake. I didn't throw up on my hand. You're sick I, though. That's not how I throw up. Yeah, but where's my hand been? I, 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 yeah, attached to your body. You don't. don't if you? you shake hands with sick people, you can get sick. Yeah, if they have germs on their hand, I had no reason to have germs on my hand. You're vomiting, and no one knows the cause. All right, fair enough. Yeah. He shook my hand like a man, though. I did. Yeah, I did. No flinching. Hand. No nothing. He, he held back a little. He was like, ah, all right. No, no. Maybe in the truck later, there was a little of this going on. <laughs> but uh, oh, some Purell sanitizer. Yeah, and then I got home around five or six a.m. The next day. I got yeah I uh so I drove I'm gonna say it took me about three and a half hours to get to Anderson South Carolina and that is when I finally had like hunger again I didn't eat as soon as I got out of there I waited three and a half hours and I stopped at a uh, a Jack in the Box and I got this giant cheeseburger and these curly fries and a Coke and I was like this is gonna be so good I started eating it and I had the worst pain in the roof of my mouth so it felt like burns it felt like it felt like at least first degree burns in the roof of my mouth. And my eyes were watering, like I was tearing up, and I was like, "God, what is this?" And I'm just, I'm like looking in the, I'm like scrubbing the roof of my mouth with, uh, with like napkins, thinking maybe I've, I don't know, there was something on the food. I took one bite of the food. That's all I could eat, and uh, apparently I had a, I got a bacterial infection somehow, and uh, that's all worked its way out now. But I, for I the next, want... oh, I'm sorry, I was gonna jump in a quick thing. Uh, there was a thought that the water filter didn't do its job, and that's why he got a bacterial infection. And uh, somebody made a post on the subreddit, which got a lot of attention. And then they also made a video, which is what they linked on the subreddit. But um, that person, while well-meaning, was off target. And he knows that. Uh, what he did is he found out that a Brita water filter, like something you might use in your house to filter tap water, doesn't get bacteria out of the, out of the lake. But the water filter I bought does. It's specifically for that purpose, for hikers, for unknown water sources like this, like a life straw type of filter. Carbon, it had like a ceramic filter, a paper filter, and a carbon filter, and it handled down to like two microns, and it specifically calls out that it's for bacteria. And I drank a ton of that same water and didn't get sick at all. My guess is, if it's bacterial, which I don't know, I'm not really a healthcare pro, um, Probably in the swim, maybe he drank yeah. some without intending to. Um, uh huh. Or in my nose, you know, or in a cut. I had cuts all over me. These are all good ideas, but I don't think it was the filtered water because I know I drank like a gallon of that stuff. Yeah. So I was really bummed out by that. I I, I still feel bad that um you know we didn't that you know we didn't get the job done. So we are gonna go again, right? Yeah. I I wasn't so. Um. I, I wasn't pushing it too hard. Kyle, by his car, as he's vomiting, suggested we do something less extreme. But, you know, look. But that, but that wasn't was really Kyle because I was half dead. <laughs> yeah, he didn't have the benefit of reflection, right? You know, now that he's at home and he's fed again and he's, you know, he's more fully amped, maybe we can give the exact same thing another go. Uh, maybe we. Oh God! Not the exact. Not really. <laughs> not that place. Maybe not. I just maybe feel like that place river, doesn't have yeah. it. Something about that place, man. Like, like so. Like we said, it, it wasn't squirrel or rabbit season. But after mm -hmm. a while of, we were working really hard. Like, in an, I can go a day without food if I'm chilling right. at my house. But if you go without a day without food, with, I'm telling you, what we were doing was strenuous labor. I I chopped down thirty or forty trees by hand with a saw, and uh, and I was tying. Regardless, lots of work and. Uh, I didn't feel like it. It, it. I was just so hungry, so so worn out, and 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 I was like, I'm gonna kill some stuff. I, I was walking around that 22, and I'd have shot anything I saw <laughs> that, that looked edible. There were these tiny like finch type birds in the trees. I'm telling you, these things couldn't have weighed more than an ounce. And I took a shot. I took a pot shot at one way up in a tree. I was like, if he falls, I'm just gonna eat him whole. I'm just gonna like <laughs> pop this son of a bitch in my mouth like a peep. Come on. <laughs> like he's a, one of those uh, peeps. Oh, did you just yeah. say peep from Easter? Uh huh. God damn it! That was the line I was gonna eat. <laughs> I'm witty as fuck. You can't keep up with this. Uh, so, I could on the second river crossing. Carry on. 
Oh. oh, so yeah, I was I was totally ready to massacre some squirrels, rabbits, whatever, out of season. I, I didn't give a fuck. There were no people within miles and miles. We were gonna eat those sons of bitches, and I was gonna live. But there weren't any. There weren't any. We didn't see one. It was really bad. So I would like to scout the next location. And do you do you think it's okay to mention who I spoke to last night, who said he would be up for the next trip? Yes, I do think it's okay. Syndicate. Syndicate told me last night that he would totally be up for the next survival trip. Yeah, I think that'd be neat. I think he'd be fun. So, uh, and I bet Chiz, and I know Chiz here would be willing to go, and that would give us a quick four-man team, no problem. Yeah, I saw Chiz's thing. Would you be, be careful when you sleep, trip? though? He might stab you in the back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Doctor <laughs> Shiv. Doctor <laughs> Shiv. <laughs> uh, oh, I lost my train of thought. But yeah, yeah. All right, so we'll do it again. I, I had a couple thoughts. Um. One thought was we do something less extreme in the summertime and then schedule a full-on survival trip at a time that works with Lozon's fight schedule. Ooh, ooh. You know, do like a filler trip. I don't know what that filler trip is. Maybe take a zip line through some Nicaraguan rainforest. It's making that shit up. That sounds awesome. Yeah, right? Like, I want to do something awesome. We'll just, you know, they, dude, Nicaragua's not that far. It's like a five hour plane trip or something. Isn't that where they, like, kidnap people and send your fingers to your relatives for Listen, any that? place with awesome fun is going to have its downsides. So, <laughs> for the mild kidnapping and gun trading and shit, it's just, yeah. Go take the zip line. Be like, a nice you need both your kindies. I Don't feel be a like pansy. a Nicaragua. I feel like Nicaraguan zip lining is a one-stop ticket to becoming an indentured servant <laughs> like for some Nicaraguan in warlord. Line with guns. Uh, I've been to Nicaragua me? before. It didn't seem like a big deal. Dominican Republic that had a mafia to that. Like you were always aware of what the mafia was doing, like where they were in control and where people had died recently. But in um, <laughs> in Nicaragua, it wasn't like that at all. Um, but, guns. <laughs> but I'm just you know, making stuff up. Like I had another idea that we could like you know take Kyle's yacht to Barbados. I that is the dumbest idea for me because I get seasick and I'd be trapped at sea for days. And, and no just, one knows how to sail that, amongst the crew. <laughs> you, you know you're gonna make a big deal out of every hiccup. You'll never get anything. Done. No, I'm down. The boat's also in disarray, though. isn't it? Is it not? That what? makes it more exciting, Lefty. Yeah, Lefty. You think we won't figure out how to sail on the way? So you don't know how to sail on a ship that is barely seaworthy, if it is at all, but we're going to do it. Is it floating? All right, it's good. Now I know right, why morning. Wings called you such a pussy about everything, man. <laughs> oh, how did that work out? How did that whole lefty's a pussy because he won't go on the survival trip work out? I just want to know. Yeah, know. I'll tell you step two. I don't go to Barbados, so. <laughs> um uh, what was yeah. I going to say? Um, I'd fly to Barbados and get drunk on a beach. But, but I, I'm just <laughs> throwing out ideas. Like, I'd like to do some sort of adventure. It doesn't even have to be long, like a four day trip I where we. Trucking. Dude, uh, the Dominican Republic, I, I know a spot trucking. where you can go to the. You can hike to the top of a mountain and then you pretty much swim down this river and there's like, I think, 27 waterfalls along the way and you just sort of jump on them. We could go do that. Swim down a river. Yeah, well, it's easy. You, like, float, and then the river... You're going downhill. I've done it. It's no oh. big deal. Oh, okay. Just, just, yeah. I've never... You know, no. If yeah, it sounds could, fun... We could go to the Dominican Republic and take, a, like, a river full of water. Not all the waterfalls are big. Some of them are, like, seven feet tall. You just jump mm -hmm. off them. We need a kayak down that motherfucker. Yeah, does anyone bring, like, floaties and shit to go I'm bringing a it? kayak. That's the way to do it. So I have an itchy tick bite. Is that a bad sign? All right. So I. So I think it. Are you sure it's a tick bite? You pull the tick off of it. Yes. There's no doubt. It's just, it's just gonna be itchy. Put some cortisone on it. I got some chiggers, and uh, the way you handle that, uh, or the way nail I've polish. always handled it, it was nail polish. Of course, the only nail polish that was handy was purple. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. I have these disgusting like you know purple nail polish on skin doesn't look purple and shiny like it would on a lady's nails it just looks like i have a terrible disease <laughs> all right then purple it's uh, it's quite disgusting on the left eye i got home before i found one of the ticks he was like pretty he close to my for a while he's pretty close to my manly area so I was happy that I, and even when I was laying there in the forest, I was I kept like feeling around my ball, groin area, 
Because I, I want I to, if I just don't want anything. What is it with these there. ticks in the manly area? Because like I I didn't I got home thinking I had no ticks. I was like I don't know why Kyle has all the ticks. Maybe he's sweeter than me. And then I find one like on my leg, or I find another one on my arm, and I'm like, oh, this sucks. And then I find one on my manly area. And at this point, it's been like I've been home for 36 hours or something. Like for like maybe less than that. Maybe oh maybe it was what? 20. Was it, I think was it less than big? What's that? Was it big? No, it was tiny, which is scarier because um, they're the ones with Lyme disease. No, 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 no. It's the opposite. I thought it, the bigger ones. So the way you get the Lyme disease is it drinks your blood and then it like vomits it back into you and then drinks it again. And then when they get big like that, that means they've been on long enough to do that stuff. So that's when you get Lyme. And I don't it's think it was on as long as I said. It wasn't 36 hours. I think it was approaching 24. 24. Yeah, something like that. And... uh and it, and it like and that's when I discovered it on my manly area, and now I'm freaked out. Now <laughs> I have a mole on my inner thigh that I went to town with tweezers on because oh. I thought it was a dick, and now oh. I have a bloody mole oh. that sucks. Oh. Bullshit! And, you couldn't and, tell the difference. What is I, wrong with you? It's dark oh. in here. And and it was late. And I was sleep deprived. And it's you got a medical <laughs> person. Were you on the phone? Were you on the phone? <laughs> no, I was drunk, and and uh, uh, and, and, and but but I've had found the other tick, and I was all freaked out because it was in my manly area. And what if I had transferred that tick? That's Did irresponsible. You Did you check your ass? No. I. The reason I they go there, it's hot. And I'm all good. Dark I'm, and warm. I'm all good. I, I get. You you want to wax that area anyway for maximum running ability. <laughs> I, I'm the only one. You know. Come on, no, I'm down. Yeah, but I just don't go out. Uh, Woody swims. You you waxing? <laughs> I don't swim anymore. But I maybe I had you, it. somebody wouldn't be near death. Hmm. Yeah. I, 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 it had occurred to me too, right? Like the first turtle. I think I shot at the first turtle, and um, that turtle is still okay. Anyway. I that, thought, like, maybe we need to switch this role. Maybe he should be the shooter and I should be the retriever. And then I thought, wait a minute, that's like holding the bullseye. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know that I like this role. Like, all right, Kyle, you know, it, it's six feet away. You shoot it. I'll be right next to it. And, and, and like, that's a terrible job. Yeah, yeah we, we decided early on, I think, that I would be the one who would go into the river when that was required because I was most appropriately dressed to do so. I had my mandals, I had my board shorts, and I had like a, a Nike air dry shirt that really seemed to dry fast. Like you could soak this thing and it seemed like it was dry again within half an hour. And I had long mm -hmm. pants, socks, hiking boots, and a cotton t-shirt on. Yeah, but yeah. you ripped a fucking tree out of the ground, so you got nothing what to do. You... <laughs> yeah, and dropped it all on your camping gear almost. That yeah, was I was so planned. worried it was going to fall on your foot. <laughs> that was pretty – that was planned. Yeah, we had actually oh. moved all the breakables out. And, and, oh. and watching the videos – I'm like, you lazy shit. Why didn't you move the rest of the stuff? <laughs> and it was a pain. Like, like the sheath for the axe was under the tree. And, uh, and you're so tired and you don't have any food and you've just cut down like 30 trees. And you're, you're like, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, that shit's there for life, I guess. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, as we're chopping down the trees... Like, I wasn't thinking to myself, you know, I wish that Wings was here. I was thinking to myself, I wish that Joe Lozon was here. Joe was a freaking workhorse of energy doing stuff, and uh, that guy could have chopped down a forest for us. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, Woody was fishing once, and he got his, uh, his hook stuck on the bottom. And then he was, like, jerking his line back and forth, and before he knew it, the end of the fishing rod slipped down the oh, line into the water that really to the hook, it. which was stuck on the bottom. So now he's got half a fishing rod, and the rest of it is on the bottom with his hook. So I'm <laughs> like, I'm like, all right, here we go. And he's hopping the water but I think he had, like, he wasn't even dry yet from his previous swim. So, yeah. like, no, he wasn't actually, worried about those fishing rods. <laughs> 
Oh, no, those, those rods were such shit. We left them. We left those fucking rods in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> we did. I wasn't going to wow. tell everyone. Because I think yeah. it kind of violates the campground rule. And, no, and... that's no, no. There's some fishing no. rods. You want them? You, you can have them. Yeah, yeah you, you, you lucky ducks. We, we left those. Fu- it, was, it was late at night, and we had a river crossing to do, and we had a man that was sick, and we hadn't eaten in a long time, and we left our fishing rods behind because... The, 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 all this talk of like you know easy food. Joe Lozon sends me a video of it was someone else, but he had had a similar experience of pulling like sunnies out of the water like one a minute. They're just yanking, yanking, yanking. Joe said he caught seventy fish in like ninety minutes, and I was like, well, damn, maybe we'll be okay. This seems easy <laughs> enough to me. I, I don't know. I, I don't know how to fish, I guess. I I, I I think it was because I resisted getting live bait from the place because I felt like, like that cheating. was... It seemed like cheating. It seemed like cheating. But I, if we had taken, like, chicken livers or, uh, um, you know, worms or something like that, something that, like, catfish and predatory fish might, might ta- attack to, uh, we'd have, we, we may have caught some fish. So that may have been a mistake, uh, not bringing good bait. Uh, Cause you know we were gonna bring good bullets for our fucking rifles, so why not? <laughs> you guys, good did point. you guys go looking for bait at all? I did. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't know if Kyle. Kyle, did you look for bait? No, I was. I was after the stork bird on yeah, that. Yeah, that, that, that's were... exactly <laughs> when it was. Kyle was after the stork bird. I took my little pooper scooper shovel and I was looking for worms, and I was just mm. digging around, moving the leaves and stuff like that, and. Um, you know where to find worms, like right where it's the most wet and the soil is the, the richest and stuff, but I didn't know where to find that. So I'm just like, well, you know, here under the leaves, just sort of randomly looking for worms and I didn't see what I needed. Mm-hmm. And given time, we found a, wa- oh, I want to call it a water bottle, but it was only like this big. Mm-hmm. And, uh, we had talked about how to make a cricket thing. Basically you slice the top off, put it backwards so that they can go in, but not out and put something nice in there. We had glucose tablets that we were going to bring for wings. I was like, well, we'll just put some water, some sugar in there, and let the crickets get trapped. But we didn't stay long enough to do that. I'm curious to know how Chiz Chiz knows that Woody snores. I was tutoring Hope in math, and there's a bed above Woody's desk, and he took a cat nap. He was snoring loud, and she's like, you hear that? I'm like, oh, yeah, the dog, right? No, that's my dad. And she got closer with the mic, and he... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a bear was in the room with her. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's how it is. I, I, uh, I've shared a room with Woody before, and I, I've slept in the woods with him, and uh, he's he slept uh, over at my house. He's a snore. No, that's not true. I would have heard it. <laughs> yeah, you do hear it, and you wake up in the night, and you you're all startled. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The noise stuff. That's good. I can go back to sleep. Yeah, that's that's, <laughs> yeah, that's the equivalent of a dog who farts himself awake. I mean, right. you know, what happened? Oh, I guess it stopped. Now that that noise stops, I'm gonna go back to bed. Yeah. None of this is I, ringing a bell. I've got to say though, when I was lying on that, so I, I want to frame this well so everybody kind of gets a mental image. I've got this half-inch pad that I'm lying on, and mm-hmm. I let the end of it overlap over that tree we cut down, and that's my pillow. And I've got my coat bunched up under my neck, and I've got like one of those emergency blankets on myself, and I'm just laying there staring up at that like gray sky with the clouds in it, and it's bright. And the I'm full moon the pine- behind the clouds, right? Yeah, and the pine tree swaying up there, and just pounding headache, feeling really nauseous. Um, rain is like it's it's not raining, but it's sprinkling. You know, a drop hit me right in the fucking eyeball. I remember that. <laughs> um, that's probably how I got sick. <laughs> that, that probably made it worse. That's what. That's why I had those sores in the roof of my mouth. And um, it weren't sores. It was. It, that was a weird situation. I don't know how to explain it. Eating caused incredible pain in the roof of my mouth for two days, and I had to. I got some antibacterial stuff and sorted that out. But anyway, Woody is snoring over there, and I can see him next to the fire. And I was just so uncomfortable and in so much pain. It felt like pain all over my body, aching, aches and pains and cuts and scratches. I was actually too hot. The bottom half of my body sweating from that emergency blanket shit. I can feel a, a tick on my legs every now and then. I reach down in the darkness and pull it off and flick it away. And there was no getting to sleep. I rolled left, right, on my back, on my stomach. It wasn't going to happen. That was awful. Uh, you know, Next- if you were up anyway, why didn't you tend to the fire? 
<laughs> I didn't want to. I didn't. The answer. The answer is I didn't fucking want to. I, I tended to it about three times, and I'd say you tended to it six times. Um, I but would fire... say that was not. If you did three times, I won't argue, but I must have been at twelve. I, maybe you... you did fall asleep more than you know. They're going to be arguing these numbers for the rest. Of the time. <laughs> Who's more of a man? I was on. There that was one fire. time when the fire caught the le- when the leaves caught on fire, and they were like creeping towards Woody, and I was watch. I was just Let watching. The- I was <laughs> watching the fire approach his body, and I was like, "I'll stop it if it gets too close, but he'll probably wake up before that happens." The- That'll stop it. There was one time when the fire. <laughs> so there's the fire, and then like around it are all the burnt leaves, and that was kind of our fire pit. But it had somehow gotten out of that, and the leaves and the pine straw were on fire. And he's like, Woody, um, I need your help here. Yeah. <laughs> and the, the, the stack of firewood was right about to catch. And, uh, and I got up and put it out for him. Yeah, yeah. We, we had to beat the fire down with sticks and like put the leaves out and push them closer to the fire. It I told you like, bitches was... I could make a fire. He made it, yes. <laughs> he did make a fire. So that picture about the forest being burnt down after day four was almost accurate. Almost. <laughs> it was close. But it was going to rain, too. So. Sure. What purchase pays for itself over time? Air- mm. Pays for itself. Pays for itself. Um, <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> I know the answer. I know what you're saying. Let's slide. <laughs> no. Oh, no. No, Wait, I know what he's thinking. I'm told, no. I don't know what either of you were thinking. Did Kyle Electric say, car? Did Kyle Humans? say landslide? No, I said, said flashlight. Uh, flashlight. Flashlight. <laughs> Lefty, does yours start with an S? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. I'll just say humans, that's it. <laughs> Lefty's like the Negroes. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I just figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> Now who's slow? Left is going to say slaves. That's why he's dying over here. I'm like, start with S. Is he talking about solar panels? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> All right. Uh, realistically, is this though. a trick question? An electric car, I would say. A Tesla. Well, you mm-hmm. gotta pay for that electricity, though. Yeah, no, you just plug in. You, you just places. put it into your house. I mean, you pay for it, but it's a lot less than gas. I got they have it in parking lots where you just plug in for free. Yeah, in the progressive cities. You guys are missing... I have a great one. I don't know if I want to... Once I give my answer, I will have won the question. And I'll okay, let's hear it, then. Let's hear your comment. wonderful answer. Oh, a, a that you stole story. from the top comment. <laughs> uh, it's not. It's not the top comment. A, um, a purchase that pays for itself, condoms. Holy shit, yeah. Uh, wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Those things are like, they give them away for free at the health department, but I'm telling you, for those of you out there, you just don't get it. I, I, my friend Jeremy, if you can, he's not really my friend anymore, I don't suppose, but <laughs> Jeremy got his girlfriend knocked up the other day, and this is a guy with no Wait, outlook. He no, did? Yeah. I, I got, this whole, I'm going through the story now. He, he gets his girlfriend knocked up. She's pretty good looking. I'd not, I wouldn't knock her up, but anyway, <laughs> gets her knocked up, and he's like half happy about it. I'm going to be a daddy. Yep, going to be a daddy. Didn't he and have I'm a just scare like, like two months ago? Yes. Yes. Oh this is a guy who cannot afford a child. Guys, if you're out there, I don't care how, if you're 22 or 23, if you're not making, if you don't have a full income and you're and, and the lady you're going to knock up doesn't have a, a full income to him, by full I mean like 60 grand a year. That's that's a that's a little bit above the the average. You're, you're, you know, you're middle, upper, you're, you're upper middle class. I, I have a say. different if, definition. Can, okay, can I interrupt? but regardless, sure. Oh, I'm sorry, I broke your flow. I thought sure, you were gonna... sure. It's just, it's just my story and all. You just go <laughs> ahead and hop in there, Woody. Tell us how it really is. If you want to know if you're ready to have kids, it, 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 sometimes it will seem like you're never quite ready, right? You know, you you, you want to have a, what sixty grand for each of you and 120 combined and all this crazy mm-hmm. stuff. If you have a job that offers benefits. Then you have your life in order enough to have children if you want them. I want my children provided for in a way that that, that just wouldn't cut it. I want my kid to be to have tutors. I want my kid to have, and I'm not going to have any kids, by the way. But if my 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 uh, potential child, my uh, hypothetical child, he's going to have tutors. He's going to have um, the best of everything. He's going to be the best him he could possibly be, and he's going to 
be set on that trajectory from the age of two, maybe from the age of one. You know that he's, he's going to be fit, he's going to be intelligent, he's going to be the best him he can be. And I just don't feel like I could do that without quite a bit of money. Now, sure, you can have a little guy that'll be just a little bit like you, and you can love him, and but he won't have the best life he could possibly have if you don't have that income and those benefits. Because if your kid gets sick and he's got these days, you know, healthcare is so expensive, you're fucked there too. Regardless, let me finish the Jeremy story though. Um, but but um, but but yeah, she she had a uh, she had a miscarriage, uh, and, and and he was and but don't worry, I'm sure he'll go right back at it. <laughs> he'll, he's not Jer- a quitter. There, he's not a quitter. There will be a little Jeremy by the, by Christmas. I got ten bucks on it. Anybody any takers? Yes, I'll um, take it since that's only by, eight months but yeah, away. Like Christmas, mother of God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of fucking. On the way. He'll, that, he'll kid, have her. that kid is out by Christmas. By that Christmas. Kid's fucked up. <laughs> like, that's, a, that's bad. Jeremy Sperm, Jeremy Sperm are country strong, okay? They get the <laughs> job done in four to five months, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to overcook it just a little bit, turn the heat up just a little bit more than the box says. Mm-hmm. It's going to be done a little bit sooner. <laughs> yeah, but I don't get it. Especially for you young guys. Wear a fucking condom or, or learn to pull out. I've never understood why guys have a hard time pulling out. I have never been having sex and been like, I want to pull out, but no! <laughs> never, never have I ever accidentally inseminated someone. Ever. I don't get it. I can pull right out, handle that situation. And that is not an effective uh, uh, way to do it. You know, don't, don't be thinking that it is. But it's better than nothing at all. And, right. and, I've never had an issue with that. And if you're using, if if the lady is like measuring the temperature of her uh, her uh, lady parts, and she can judge her cycle, know when she's ovulating, that in combination with pulling out is effective. Birth control helps too. Birth control, and also Plan B is over the counter now. Only I don't, I don't know, fifty, sixty bucks maybe. Yeah, I've employed Plan B mm-hmm. before. My or as my cousin calls it, Plan A. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be doing it a lot because it's like a uterus bump. <laughs> he said that he went and bought so he had bought Plan A, Plan B so many times. <laughs> Some subscription bought, model with Amazon now. <laughs> he had bought so much Plan B <laughs> that the pharmacist didn't believe he was actually in need of it and thought he was using it for like illicit reasons, like maybe he was poisoning people or like making a drug out of it. They're like, "There's no way you're like fucking this many girls that you need this much Plan B." <laughs> He had to send his girl in for it, and she was, you know, she's ashamed. <laughs> wow, what is that? What do you think that does? Like, she's got to be like a barren wasteland at that point if she's taking. So your assumption is it's all the same girl. I don't know if that's the case. It, like, like three times with the same girl, I know for sure. Oh, um, yeah, it was a lot with the same girl. I've only employed Plan B one time, and we knew going in it was like, so I don't have, I'm not on birth control, and I'm like, well, I don't like wearing condoms. And she was like, well, I could take Plan B the next day. I was like. All right. Well, I'll watch you take the pill. If you don't, I'm gonna force you to. Are you Are you agreeable to that? She's like, Yeah, shove it down my throat. I'm like, I'm about to. <laughs> oh God! I, I, I took a moment to process <laughs> that too. Of, you I know, heard, if you did that, oh, she wouldn't need Plan B. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how we kick the night off. Anyway, it's a good I way guess, to start. Always is. Uh, so you have another topic. When in life are you truly the happiest? When you have people around you who uh, who care about you, when you've got lots of people around you who love you, care about you, and support you, and you're able to support yourself, I'm not going to say money buys happiness, but if you don't have enough to, you know, take care of the basic necessities, then you're still not going to be happy. I'm sure there's lots of kids out there who are 16, 17, and these days I hear, you know, into their 20s and living at home, and they're they're not happy, and they've got tons of love and everything they and but they just don't have any money. You got to have money, and you've got to have a support system around you. I think. See, it's, it's so you chose deep into adulthood. So, what would your answer be? I don't know. Deep into adulthood, because that would be mine. Like, because if you don't have money, you can't go out and do shit, or you can't buy things if you're an introvert. So that really sucks. And if you have money and no people, you've got nothing to share, or you have no one to share things with. So it exactly. kind of sucks. If you have both, that's that's really all you need. At least. I'm answering for a 20, 21 year old, but I don't. Even when I was young, if if you couldn't drive or you didn't have money to go out with your friends, it kind of sucked, you know. Yeah. So I don't know what your answer is going to be. I don't know. Like, so I'm I'm really happy right now. For me personally, this might be it. You know, like I, 
Yeah, but you're a millionaire with a loving family. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good gig if you can get it. <laughs> <laughs> I highly recommend it. Um, but, you know, I was once eight years old and popular in third grade and I had a girlfriend and things were, you know, like I also have stresses. I, I talked to my wife and I was like, you know, if I retired right now, we could live on like 50 grand a year for the rest of my life. And she's like, yeah, that's adorable. Get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah, I think a lot of people would have picked childhood and I don't know. I, I don't think it's my mic making noise. I hear it too. Um, I don't know. So did, no one picked childhood. No one said the happiest time of their life was in college or in high school. Well, was it the happiest time of your life, or when is it in life that you are happy? That or when in happiest? life were you truly the happiest? Oh, were you truly the happiest? That's what it says. Um, Thank you. 